The journey starts right here with a QR code on each medallion. It unlocks the history of Rhode Island and its use of slave labor. This is Patriots Park in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. The names you see carved above this monument mark the spot where the United States first integrated army fought as one. Blacks, Indians, indentured white servants and farm boys got together for the first time and held the, the British and the Hessians in the first Battle of Rhode Island. This memorial is now adorned with a QR coded medallion tying cities in Rhode Island to its painful past. All you do is take your phone, open the camera and hover over the code. It will then take you to the website revealing what each city's role was in slavery. Patriots Park is the first of many. It's a hidden history. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the unvarnished truth about uh, slave history. See, this view of the Narragansett Bay looked a lot different during the 17 and 1800s. Ships from Newport and other ports like Bristol and Warren and Providence were sent to West Africa where, where rum was traded for Africans who were captured and kidnapped from their tribes. Charles Roberts, executive director of the Rhode Island Slave History Medallions, tells me slaves were a necessity. They were used as chattel to produce and cut and bring the sugar cane that was turned into molasses there and brought to our port. And when slavery was abolished, there was no place for the slaves to go back to. And how they were used was like indentured servants. This is why there is a, a disparity in uh, uh, economics today. Because they didn't want to give them freedom. These QR codes serve as a gateway, linking Rhode Islanders and tourists to information Roberts believes is essential. It's all a part of what he calls the uncovering of true history. Slavery and the institution of, of slavery erases your culture your cultural identity. Newport native and enslaved artisan Pompey Stevens created this angel you will see on each medallion. It's a bold statement. Robert says signifies that Africans helped to create the Rhode Island we know today. We bring out of the darkness into the light, the true history of all of us. Robert says the next step is to make sure there is intergenerational knowledge, so he plans to take this project into the classrooms next. In Portsmouth, Rhode Island, I'm Chelsea Jones.